Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is sponsored by ToyHacks.com. They're your one-stop shop for reproduction decals for your vintage G1 Transformers and upgrade decals for your modern box. Weaponry for your figures from the Toy Hacks Armory and great looking backdrops for your display from Toy Stages. And when you visit ToyHacks.com, make sure and use my monthly promo code to save 15% off your order. So yes, 15% off when you use my promo code right here. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the video. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video showing off some weaponry that I just received from the Toy Hacks Armory. And these are the weapons for the Legacy Deluxe Insecticons. And these weapons are more G1 inspired. If you're familiar with the Deluxe Insecticons, they are remolds of the regular Legacy Insecticons like Ransack is Kickback, Chop Shop was Shrapnel, and Barrage was Bombshell. Now, the robot modes look great, but the weapons they were given are just recallers of the weapons that the original Insecticons had. And that's where Toy Hex comes in to the rescue with weaponry that looks just like the G1 toy weaponry from the 80s. So let's go ahead and take a look at these Toy Hex Armory weapons. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. They call me Patriot Prime, showing what's new. Now we'll start things off by looking at the weapons for Ransack. Now as I said earlier, Legacy Ransack came with a repaint of Legacy Kickback's weapon, which looks okay, but once you look at the original G1 Ransack, you see his gun is completely different. It looks weird. It's got a big clip right there, big round drum on the back, and he also came with a shield. The big problem with the original G1 Ransack was he had no articulation. The arms wouldn't would not go forward, so you couldn't point the weapon or point the shield straight on. So, looking at the new Toy Hex Armory weapons, let's bring in the blaster first. This gun right here looks pretty much dead on to the G1 blaster. I mean, how cool is that? This one's a little bit more stumpy though, but I love the details. I mean, like I said, that is pretty much dead on. Now, if you're wondering, the weapon size I ordered was medium with handle position B, and that's the same uh, style I ordered for all of the weapons. So let's go ahead and put the gun in Legacy Ransack's hand here. See how that looks. And there we go, I dig it. I think that looks really good. Now, looking at the weapon, great quality as usual from Toy Hacks. Nice and smooth and very well sculpted. Now we'll bring in the shield. Taking a look at the G1 shield, pretty much identical. Just I'm pretty sure that Legacy Ransack can hold his shield forward. So let's go ahead and put that in his hand to take a look at it. There we go, so we got Ransack with his shield and his new G1 inspired weapon. A vast improvement of what he had. Next up we have Chop Shop. And the weapon that Chop Shop came with was just a recaller of Shrapnel's Blaster. And like I said earlier, it looks okay, but it's just not his proper weapon. Looking at the G1 figure, the weapon was very weird looking, just like Ransack's, and I dig it. I love the weird looking weapons. They're just really added to the sci-fi element of these figures. So we'll go ahead and take the weapon that Toy Hacks has designed for Chop Shop. Let's go ahead and bring in the original G1 rifle once again. Now this one has more of a gold to it than brown, but looks dead on to the original rifle. So let's go ahead and put that in his hand and I'm destroying my backdrop right there. Remove the original blaster. 
put the new blaster in his hand. And yeah, I dig it. I think that looks a lot better. Now, Chop Shop also comes with a spear. The original toy had a spear as well, but that piece has been eluding me for years. But thanks to Toy Hacks, I now have a spear for my legacy Chop Shop. Man, the spear looks great. Nice gold yellow color. I mean, they, they do such a good job on these. Nice and smooth, lots of details. Let's go ahead and put that in Chop Shop's hand. And there we go, we've got his spear, we've got his pistol. Chop Shop looks badass now. I, that's my favorite deluxe Insecticon. And lastly, we'll take a look at the weapon for Legacy Barrage. And yes, I said weapon because I failed to order his gun. I just overlooked it, so I will be fixing that as soon as possible. So the weapon we'll be looking at for Barrage is the sword. We got the original G1 right here, has this sword with kind of a little point right there on the front of the hilt. At least Barrage, he has some articulation. He could bring his arms forward. So bringing in the sword that Toy Hacks made for Barrage, it looks pretty much dead on to that G1 sword. So there you go, right there. Let's go ahead and get that in Barrage's hand. And now he has more of a G1 look. We just got to get him the proper weapon. Once again, the Toy Hacks Armory comes to the rescue by providing our new modern figures with some G1 style weaponry. I love the G1 throwbacks to these weapons, and I think they add so much more to these deluxe Insecticons, especially if you're an old G1er like myself and was wanting something a little bit more appropriate to these figures. Now I will be correcting my mistake and ordering the rifle for Barrage with my next ToyHex.com order. Now I do want to make a color correction with the spear here. It is more of an orange tint than yellow. Now that I have the spear and sword together in the same shot, I can see it. But when I was looking at up close with the way the lighting is for my camera, it looked yellow, but it does have an orange tint. So what do you guys think of the Toy Hacks Armory weapons for the Deluxe Insecticons? Let me know in the comments below. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out and thank you to all my current channel members because it is your support that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime signing out. Hoo -ah! They call me Patriot Prime, showing what's new. Transformers reviews with a heartfelt view. Adding stickers, bringing life to dreams. In this small town, nothing's as it seems. Nothing's as it seems